Hi, this is Lisa from Okusha Yoga Stouffville. I'm Maria. Today we're here to give you the posture tip of the month, Warrior One. So here we are, Maria. So Maria getting into Warrior One. The common thing we see in our Warrior One is an inactive right leg. And with an inactive right leg, you find that the heel tends to lift. What we want to do is drop the right heel down, pressing the right heel down towards the floor, activating the right leg so it creates a nice even distribution of weight between both legs. So going into the upper part of the body, we find the rib cage to, to puff out basically. So what we want to do is draw the lower part of the rib cage in towards the spine. So what that creates is a nice stretch in the psoas muscles and alleviates the stress in the lower part of the back. As we go up into the arms of this posture, we find a tendency for the students to actually draw the shoulders up towards the ears. So what we want to do is draw the shoulders down and towards the sockets, but activating the arms at the same time. So it's a nice, natural activation. So the arms feel strong right up and towards the fingertips. Another thing that we find in Warrior One is the left knee to draw over past the left ankle. So what we want to do is draw the left knee in line with the left ankle. So the three points to remember in Warrior One, activate the back leg, extend the heel down, drawing the lower ribs in towards the spine, rolling the shoulders back and down. Thanks for joining us today in the Posture Tip of the Month, Warrior One. Hope to see you in a sweaty class soon.